In this video, I'm going to install Git on Windows. So I'm going to open my browser and go to git-scm.com. Now the Git website should detect that I'm on Windows and I should have this button available for me to download for Windows. So I'm going to click on that and it should automatically begin downloading. Once Git has been downloaded, run the executable. If Windows prompts you for a security warning, just hit run anyway. And now we're going to step through the wizard. Next, accept the license, hit next. The default location is fine, so hit next. On this screen, I like to make sure we have at least an icon on the desktop. You can scroll down, see if there's anything else that you want to integrate. Everything else should be fine. Hit next. This is okay as well, so I'm going to hit next. I'm going to select the middle option. In addition to installing git bash, it will also allow me to run git commands from my Windows command prompt. I hit next. For me, I prefer the middle option. These settings can also be changed after the fact using the git config commands. I'm going to hit next. And now Git is going to be installed on my system. I'm going to skip the release notes and hit finish. I'm going to close my browser and fire up Git Bash. So you can see that Git is successfully installed. 